Hey everybody, this is Kyle, and last week on my community tab, I put up a poll for the next Alip reaction song, and Killing Me Softly won by a big margin. The other song was Buried Alive. I also put on my poll that patrons add 2%. When I presented that to my patrons, they're like, hey, whatever people vote on is cool with us. So you can thank the patrons for not skewing the votes a little bit. And speaking of Patreon, I do want to say thanks to my patrons because they do support this channel. And a lot of times on these reaction videos, when you do see ads, that is going to the people that actually own the song, not the performer, not the person doing the reaction. So just a little heads up there because I know a lot of people think, you should pay this guy for the views. Like, yeah, they, they do get paid. <laughs> so anyway, let's get right to this Killing Me Softly thing. Like all the extra little pieces Alip was putting in there. When you're playing guitar, you always have this tendency to add fills. That means if you have a melody uh, with like three notes, as a guitar player, you're going to play some notes in between, uh, use scales and things like that to create a fuller musical picture. And that is, that's just something a lot of musicians do. This song, I always think of the Fuji's version. Yeah, I was in college in the 90s, so it's cool to hear something a little bit different. trying so hard not to sing along. Uh, what I really like about what he's playing here is he's separating out the bass line and the chords and the melody. Instead of having like all three parts going at the same time, you get a little flavor of the bass line, then it goes back to the chords and the melody. And that gets into the arrangement sensibility as a musician, you know, how you put things in order, you know, and things like that. And, and that's always really tasty how he's doing this. <laughs> This song is so much fun to play for a musician, that ending chord of the phrase, you know, like, as you're listening to the song and you get to the last line of, like, the chorus or the verse, that chord is a lot of fun to play because it changes the texture of the music. There's a little uh, modal shift there. And when you're playing it, it's so easy to be emotional and give some feeling when you play it. It's always fun to hear uh, someone play this song.
a look at Aleep's fingers here from a classical background when you're doing picking and your fingers are walking on the strings, but they pop off a string. Let's see if I can show this. They pop off a string and come the rest on the next one. That's called a rest stroke. I'm always impressed with Aleep by his variety of techniques. <laughs> I always like those blues endings. I always think of the movie Crossroads, where Ralph Macchio's character is playing classical at the end of some, uh, I forget if it's a Bach piece or what he plays in the movie, and he does this blues ending like that. I think that's what all guitar players <laughs> want to do at the end of a song. You know, that cool kind of bluesy scale thing, because it, it just gives so much flavor. It's kind of putting like a an extra spice on your food or something like that. And just a friendly little thing for all the people that say, hey, guitar player guy, why don't you get your guitar and play along? Well, I would, but I've already released a cover of this song on my jazz album, Lifted Standard. So check that out on Spotify. Uh, let me know what you think of the comments if you check that out. Getting back to A Loops playing here, this song, I, I just love this song. Like I said, I always think of the Fuji's version and Roberta Flack's version is just phenomenal. The song is written so well from a musical standpoint for me. Now I don't have like a music degree or a master's in musical composition. I just know what I like to play and I know enough about music where I can hang with people that kind of have that education. And the way that the song makes little changes in the music, it brings so much feeling and flavor and it goes along with the lyrics so well. And those things for me as a songwriter and a guitar player, that just makes a song just so awesome. <laughs> 